So today we're going to start a um, magic carpet with pattern and shapes and um, alternating two or more kinds of lines or shapes to create patterns on different colored strips. So you can see we have all these colored strips. Some of the strips are skinnier than other strips. So some strips are a little bit wider and some are a little bit skinnier. And what I want you to do is choose three wide colored strips, three different colors in the bigger strip, and then two in this skinnier strip in two different colors. So you have plenty to choose from, so you probably won't need to repeat a color more than once. And so I've already chosen my three big strips and my two skinny strips. And you can start with whatever one you want. And the first thing I want you to do is choose um, two kinds of lines that you're going to alternate. So you could do straight, broken, zigzag, wavy, whatever you'd like to do. And I'm going to do straight and then a wavy line. And then straight and then a wavy. So we're doing an alternating pattern, choosing two things and alternating them over and over and over again. Okay. And then on your next strip, maybe you'll do two shapes this time. So. Now you can't erase permanent markers, so if you make a mistake, you might need to flip it over and do it on the back side. Um, or you could do it in pencil first if you're worried about making a mistake. This one I'll do a zigzag line and a curved line. This one, I'll do a broken and a dotted. So I'd like you to try to do different shapes and different lines on each one of your strips. So I have not repeated the same line and I have not repeated the same shape. Now we're going to start coloring in, and um, let's start with the lines first. So here are my line shapes. I'm going to ask you to choose one color, and you're going to alternate coloring and skipping and not coloring, coloring, not coloring, not coloring, not coloring. So I'm not going to color here, and so this space between the two lines, I'm going to color that in. We're going to use construction paper crayons because they show up on the construction paper colored paper. Nice and neat. So I'm going to skip a space and not color it, and then the next space I'll color in. And the reason that we're not going to color in every space is we have this nice colored paper, so it doesn't really make sense to color it completely in with two colors of crayons and cover up that colored paper. If we wanted to color the whole thing, then I would have just given you white paper. And I want you to color nice and neat and fill it in as much as possible. Okay, and then I'm going to pick a different color over here. So when you have broken and dotted, you kind of just have to color in the space between and then stop when they meet. So skip a space, color, skip a space, color, and skip a space and color. Same with this one. I'll color a space, skip a space, color a space, skip 
the space. All right. Now when you do your shapes, the background will be the color of the paper. So you can color your shapes with two colors. So you're going to pick two different colors. And you're going to color one shape. And since this triangle's orange, I'm going to color this triangle orange and this triangle orange. And I can put my orange away. And let's see, let me do this red color, reddish orange. Of a circle. And this circle the same color. Now you're going to assemble your carpet. You're going to start with a big black piece of paper. I'd like you to use a construction paper crayon to write your name and the letter of the day you have art. Flip it over. And if we worked horizontal like this, our strips wouldn't really fit. So we need to work vertical. And our strips are not going to reach all the way across our paper. I cut them so that you'll have this nice black space between each of your strips. So you're gonna flip your strip over and I want you to start with a big strip first and you're gonna alternate big, skinny, big, skinny. Make a frame of glue on the big strip. Glue it down, not right against the edge of the black. Leave a black frame around three sides. And now you're gonna do your next skinny strip. Frame of glue it over and you're going to leave a, f a frame of black around it so you're not going to glue this strip right next to it. You're going to leave some space. Okay, now you'll go back to a big strip and you're alternating big skinny, big skinny. Thick, thin, thick, thin. And if you leave the right amount of space between each of your strips, it should be pretty equal all the way down to the bottom. All right, try and glue them straight and not crooked and diagonal. And now you're ready to add the, the fray, the fringe on the ends of your carpet. And I have cut some different colored paper, the same colors that you got to choose from for your strips. The scrap from cutting these I used to make the fringe. So I have all sorts of different colors to choose from, but I'm going to go ahead and use this pink and green. And you're just going to put a dot of glue and you're going to create a pattern with the pink and the green. So I'm going to start with the pink and it's going to hang off like it's fringe on a rug or a carpet. Dot of glue. And I'm not going to glue these right next to each other. I'm going to leave some space between each one. Try to glue them on straight, and not crooked like this, or hanging off more. Try and keep it equal. But it's good if you push down and get that glue squished down so that it will hold your fringe. And I'm creating a pattern of pink, green, pink, green, pink, green. Oops. Okay. Don't have enough space for the last one there. So now I'm just going to flip it around and do that all over again on this side so that it matches.
All right. And so there you have your magic carpet pattern paper.